Huh? Bring it up. Bring it up, Foxy or somebody back Seats there. Seats on it. Bring up Super Bowl 58. You'll see it. The emblem. Put it on the screen. And then bring up 57 and 56. Does that have something to do with the Epstein list that came out? <laughs> Feels like, <laughs> feels like that's supposed to be coming out soon. That's supposed to be coming out. Soon. Look, this guy's been it's waiting in his wine people. cellar. Yeah. I've been waiting in my wine <laughs> cellar for this thing. <laughs> a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't. Ah, <laughs> All right. Jimmy Kimmel had a very strong response for Aaron Rodgers. He said, "Dear asshole, he was so mad he even had a typo." For the record, I've not met flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than your clearly phony nonsense that soft brain wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up, and we will debate the facts further in court. Aaron Rodgers caught a lot of flack for those comments. Many said it was a random accusation, but it was actually Jimmy Kimmel who started the whole thing. Let's just say all this UFO talk has the tinfoil hatters going wild, including Green Bay whack packer Aaron Rodgers, who offered this hot take on the Pat McAfee show. Did you hear about the Epstein client list uh, about to be released, too? What's that? What are you talking about? There's some files that have, have some names on it that might be uh, getting released pretty soon. <laughs> might be time to revisit that concussion protocol, Aaron. That's <laughs> And that wasn't the only time that Jimmy Kimmel took a shot at Rodgers. He also bashed him for his stance on vaccines. Jimmy Kimmel has been bashing Aaron Rodgers left and right on his show without any response. And the moment Aaron Rodgers responds, he threatens a lawsuit. He can dish it out, but he can't take criticism. ESPN and ABC are owned by the same parent company, so Pat McAfee had to apologize for Aaron Rodgers. Take a look. But I can see exactly why Jimmy Kimmel felt the way he felt, especially with his position. But I think Aaron was just trying to talk shit. Now, did it go too far? Uh, and a lot of people, uh, Jimmy Kimmel certainly said that was the yeah. case. We and I immediately upon it happening, trying to be like, Ooh, you know. But that is Aaron and Jimmy. They've been uh, jousting a bit. I don't know, you know. <laughs> so, like, we obviously don't like the fact that we're associated with anything negative ever. We like our show to be an uplifting one, a happy one, a fun one, but it's because we talk shit and try to make light of everything. Mm -hmm. Some things, obviously, people get very pissed off about, especially when they're that serious allegations. So we apologize for being a part of it. Can't wait to hear what Aaron has to say about it. Hopefully those two will just be able to settle this, you know? Yeah. Not mm -hmm. court-wise, but be able to chit-chat, move along. Because remember, you're allowed to disagree with people's opinions. You're allowed to say, like, I, I don't... You sound dumb. The more and more mm -hmm. you talk, you sound dumber and dumber. And then you're allowed to just move on. So there you have it. Obviously, Pat McAfee wants to play this safe. He wants to keep his job. He doesn't want to get sued. He doesn't want to get ESPN sued. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of Aaron Rodgers calling out Jimmy Kimmel. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.